Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a sort of follow on to my last video where I was swatching out my Magello colours. Um, a few people in the comments had mentioned that they found these paints way too bright, especially for painting landscapes, and others have said this to me before as well. Uh, so I thought I'd try and test it out myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the same painting twice and it'll be once with my normal landscape palette which is made up of Rembrandt colours and then I'll follow that by painting one with my Magello paints. I'll use this same paper for both paintings, it was, it's uh, Baohong Academy 100% cotton 300 GSM cold press. And the sketches are both going to be the same. Um, keeping it pretty simple, I don't want to take forever over these paintings. I've got the sky for some test some blues, tree, I can test some greens in the foliage, and also I can paint some shadows. Okay then, the first painting is going to be done with my normal Rembrandt landscape palette. Uh, the colours I have in here are Indian Red, Light Red Oxide, Burnt Sienna, Thalo Blue Red Shade, Cobalt Blue, Haynes Grey, uh, that one is Raw Umber, Cadmium Yellow Lemon, and Cadmium Red. I'm also going to keep the brush the same for both paintings. I'll just be using my ZY Tang Travel Brush, it's just a, a size 10. Okay, so I'm just going to start the painting in my usual way by beginning with the sky and some Indian red. Um, this video is not a tutorial so I'm going to speed things up here and uh, I'll catch you when it's done in a couple of minutes. So that's the end of the Rembrandt painting, I think I'm going to finish it there. Uh, there's still a few more bits I could do to it but yeah I'll move on to the Magello. Okay so moving on to the Magello palette, the colours here are Lemon Yellow, Permanent Yellow Deep, Vermilion, Permanent Red, that's Cerulean Blue which is their PB153, and I've got Ultramarine, uh, Thalo Green and then that next one's a, actually a Rembrandt paint so I don't think I used it. Um, then we've got Olive Green, Red Brown and Van Dyke Brown. The empty spaces there with the blue tack in is just where I removed some non-Magello paints. So much like in the Rembrandt painting I'm gonna start off in the sky um, as I don't have Indian red, I'm going to take some permanent red and then use some green to neutralize it. Not an exact match for Indian red, but near enough. And again, I'm going to speed things up a bit to get the painting finished and then we'll take a look at them side by side after.
Okay, so that's the end of the Magello painting. I wouldn't say I had any problems painting with them. Uh, it still looks like my painting. Uh, yes, the colours are quite bright, but it's easy to handle. You just neutralise them with their complementary colours, no problem. Um, the advantage I have with my Rembrandt palette is that most of the colour, or a lot of the colours, are earth colours, so they're already neutralised. Um, with this set of colours, you have to work a bit more, but it's easily done. Okay, so let's take a look at them side by side to see if there's much difference. And here they are side by side. You've got the Rembrandt on the left and the Magello on the right. Uh, just looking at them, they look pretty much the same to me. Uh, there is a difference in the colour selection, but that's just because I didn't have the same colours in both palettes. Um, I definitely wouldn't say the Magello looks any brighter or in any way worse. I mean, maybe I painted one better than the other. But I don't see any reason why Magello would be a problem for painting landscapes. I'd still say I prefer the Rembrandt colours, but that probably comes more from familiarity as they're the ones I paint landscapes with daily. I think if I spent more time using the Magello, I'd quickly learn how to use them better. So what do you think? Do you think Magello are too bright for painting landscapes? Hopefully this video shows that that's not the case. Um, unless you're painting straight from the tube. Yeah, then I'm pretty sure these bright colours would pretty quickly nuke a painting. Uh, maybe that's a good idea for a future video. Maybe I could paint a landscape with no mixing whatsoever. Every colour straight from the tube. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.